Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about adding Microsoft for Business into your SCCM 1806 server. This is going to be a two part mini series. This is part one, and so let's get started. So, first thing that you need to do is open up your SCCM console, and from there, you want to go inside administration and within administration overview, and then go inside your cloud services. So, once you have that folder expanded, we need to go into Azure services. And we're going to right click on it and configure an Azure service. You're going to get a nice little dialog box, uh, give it a name. And the option that you want is Microsoft Store for Business. Give it a name, whatever you want, it's up to you. Make sure you check this off, click next, and then that's it. Now for the Azure environment, you only have one. So I didn't really show you guys the drop down. For me, I only had one. And for the web app, you're going to click on browse and you're not going to have anything. So you have to create one. So click on create. Give your application a name. Uh, I gave it as BTNHD, and the home page is going to be this. Uh, you're going to see in, on the next two slides or so, uh, my home page URL and my app ID changes. And the reason why, because when I was testing this stuff out, uh, it wasn't working correctly, and I had to fix it. So don't freak out. And once you add your application name, you're going to do is sign in. Sign in with your username or your email address and then password and then done sign in successfully again the home page changed and the reason why it changed is because i made a boo-boo when i was testing this stuff out and i forgot to take screenshots and then when i was trying to go back and do it the way that i showed you guys on the last slide it wasn't working because it took a while for it to like uh clean up so i had to redo it to something else okay uh click ok you're going to see that the server app is here and select it Click OK, and then there you go. Click Next. Now you need to give it a path. You need to give it a USC path. It can't be a C or D drive uh, path. So I went inside my SCCM server within sources and created a folder called Microsoft Apps. Now you can give this whatever name you want. You don't have to follow my the way my naming scheme. You can do whatever you want. Once you copy and paste the path, uh, it allows you to add more languages. By default, it gives you English. So click on next, nice little summary, next and green check mark, and that's it. And that's it guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, how to add Microsoft Store for Business. On part two, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth with dealing with Microsoft Store for Business and adding a couple more things that I'm gonna show you guys on the next video, so don't worry about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, leave comments right below, make sure to check part two of this little mini series, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.